Hello everybody, we are the Hello everybody, we are the Wallflower Gamers, and welcome back to part three of Assassin's Creed Unity. The worst game in the series. What's second worst? Three? I haven't played Syndicate. Syndicate's supposed to be awesome. It's supposed to be. I haven't played any of them outside of two and one. Yeah, we played one together, dude. No, you played one by yourself. Yeah, I played a little bit. I used to. I never owned it, but like, I used to have. I used. To, I used to rent it, back in. Back in. Uh, back when it like not first came out, but like around that time, I used to rent it. I'm always like the time puzzles and things. Wait, not when it came out, but when I got my 360. Because <laughs> I didn't have my 360 back when I used to run. This is in Paris, France, if you're clear. Dude's a bird. This is a real old, this is a real old thing. With hay bales and stuff. Yeah, instead of instead you just jump into piles of nails. Or you jump into piles of people. Catch me! <laughs> like, and he's like, there you are. Catch me! He just like, all the other people just like form a circle where he's gonna land. And dude's like, and then like some guys just like, some guys just like, like 20 bucks, his brain splits open. It's like he falls and like he lands, and like, he falls and he lands, and it's just like, um, he falls in his lands and it's is, is like his neck cracks in half. It's like, ah, you were supposed to catch me. It's like, shit, now I owe you 20 bucks. So, so we're gonna, we're, I'm going to try to do this as stealthily as possible. It's kind of hard for stealth for me, but, um, you know, I'm master in real life stealth. There's only mascot mascot once, actually. He's joking. We basically convinced one of our friends that we uh, stole a mascot. So basically what happened is that... It was me, uh, our friend Jake, uh, him, and this girl, Lydia. And basically, we we uh, went, we, had, we, we were tasked with driving her home. And basically, on the way home, we convinced her that we were going to steal a mascot from a high school. And uh, this is basically the part where Coleman pointed out he is a master of stealth. Which, uh, I hope to God, for this game's sake, that he is. She actually thought that we were going to do it, by the way. So, it, it was pretty darn funny. Did you get it was very funny. She was basically like, no, we can't do that. No. <laughs> She basically just didn't want to be a part of it, but like, we just kept convincing her that all the way through that we were going to steal a mascot, and we never actually did. Where the devil are they? See, this would be a great pile of people for you to jump into. That's King Louis, right? I don't think the the Martia that the king came when it came whenever it came. He still runs weird. <laughs> That's something that'll never change. <laughs> better design, better and better everything else. I actually like the characters in this game's design. Council of capable men. That is the question. It's the name Arno, right? Yeah. A truce then. What the devil was that about? I still say that Star Wars Battlefront looks a lot better. Now, now. We can resolve this without recourse to violence, can't we? Get him, Yuko! Oh, you're the fighting buddy. Get him, Yuko! Yeah. 
I like how the dude charges at you with his with his sword like like his sword like this. It leaves like, it leaves like a huge. Uh, I like how he charges at you with his sword like next to his. Well, with his with his arm like across his body, because that leaves like a giant gaping place for you to attack him. He just charges at you with his sword up, leaving his entire body open. These guys do not know how to fight for shit. He's not even attacking you! Oh, is this like a tutorial fight? You can't take us both at once! Dude doesn't even have his guard up. <laughs> None of these guys are really good at guarding. These guys should get much better at blocking. If they ever think that not they can attack day. you. Is it Victor? To your health, gentlemen. You boy, sir! What are you doing there? Uh, running! Garden and Blue are police, apparently. He's getting away. No, they aren't. They're. What if they weren't police and they were just breaking the law? Just impersonating cops? Or people who were really good cosplayers? Guard is real wild. You can't find a real wild though to stop chasing you. That is funny. Precisely on that. I doubt it. The rope should have bounced a bit. It should have. Apparently, I heard this, the game's this, physics weren't really good. Uh, uh. I guess that's treated as a solid platform, then. I'm not complaining. Uncharted 3 has the same exact thing. The only difference is the rope, the rope actually bounces. If Uncharted 3, a game from 2011, can do rope bouncing physics, then this game from 2014 should definitely be able to do rope bouncing physics. Have you played any of the Assassin's Creed Chronicle games? Or read any of the Assassin's Creed comic books? Do you ever want to play those for our channel? Or... I thought you didn't want Liberation. No, not Liberation. Just, uh, oh, really? It has three generations and um, Brotherhood. Oh, isn't there like a new sub-series of uh, an episodic series like The Walking, Get Walking Dead, but with Assassin's Creed in it, though? I'll show it to you next time I see you, because I've seen... Yeah, Coleman, you're really good at stuff. You don't really get still until you become an assassin. And they've always loved the, you know, the killing aspect, like, when, 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 I don't, when I don't have a mission in play, 
I like to just literally just sit there and like just you know kill random people like you know coming over cops kind of fun from what I hear oh you're you're fine with killing cops in this game but GTA is a no go Those are some of the funnest games. Like, I love San Andreas, and I love, um, Five. Vice City's amazing. Vice City's amazing. Uh, anything from three onward is just really good. First two aren't as, aren't as good. Well, one one two. They go for, like, a top-down perspective, like the Chinatown Wars. It's just, I mean, it's okay. I mean, it's just not my kind of, uh, sandbox game. I prefer with a third-person view from three and onward. A party? I wasn't invited. Neither were the horses. GTA, I think, is bad in my view because, um... I had to go cops more or less, but because there's one mission in one of the games where you can actually carry out a real live uh, terror late attack. Is late. That's like half the missions in that game. That's like half the missions in Saints Row. Question the comings and goings of my betters. Well, I know, but they did like, no, no, like a 9/11 attack and everything else. Just uh. Saints Row. Yeah, you can. Saints Row 3, if you crash your helicopter. Well, you failed the mission, but yeah. Which I have. 4 is not as good, though. 4 is... So, yeah, there's a height limit in this game, too. Falling damage. That's realistic, actually. Yeah. That's always been a thing in the Assassin's Creed series, though. What's not realistic is falling from three 300 feet, landing in a pile of hay, and being instantly safe. I'd best not leave without dropping off this letter. I could just slip it under the door. He'd see it the instant he returned. Ho, ho. Ho, ho. Safe and sound, and only slightly delayed. And now, to the palace. Uh, I couldn't sneak through a sewer in these threads. Much less a ball. Here, here, mon ami. Let me take care of that. Well, thank you, young man. My name is Arno. Don't worry, folks. The game gets way better when you become an assassin. Apparently not. You don't know that. Maximilien Robespierre. No guest. Arno. Le Chevalier du Telem. Invitation, s'il vous plaît. About that, I had one, of course, but on the way. No invitation. No admittance. Now clear the queue. Next, please. I will say, though, I do like the character. <laughs> Charles Gabriel. I like the, 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 the design of him. Next, please. Yeah, he is designed pretty well. I do think that is a pretty cool look for a character. Back in this era where uh, a lot of the men look like women. They didn't have haircuts back then. I think they did. Hey, wait. Off with you. What's happened? 